guys, it's me, Kyle, and this is my beautiful wife, Gretchen. Hello. So before we actually get started, we just want to thank all of our viewers for helping us reach. We also just wanted to thank our I Love C family for supporting us and for watching right now. And so for today, we'll be upgrading my wife's PC. Yeah. Alright, so to start us off, it will be my wife who will be building her own PC. Are you sure about that? <laughs> So anyway, just a little background about me. I wanted to become an IT professional a long time ago, so I took like a year of course. It didn't work out for me just because I don't really like hardware, so I don't like putting stuff together. So because of that, he kind of challenged me to see if I can build my own PC. And he, I guess he just wanted to make fun of me, so. So I guess um, we'll try and see if I can make it. If I can't, he's just going to continue what I'm doing or he'll at least maybe help me. But pretty much he's here for fun. All right. Let's start. All right. So I guess we're going to start off first with our motherboard. So this is our motherboard. The reason why we picked the B550 Amstel Legend by Azeroth is because I think it's just because it's white. But um, maybe has more reasons why. Well, no. So one of the reasons why is because this motherboard supports PCIe Gen 4, and it also supports the third gen Ryzen CPUs. Okay, so let's open it. Let me shake Motherboard. So we're just trying to remove everything. Okay. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> I'm scared that I'm gonna break everything. <laughs> So here's our CPU. Um, it's the Ryzen 5 3600X. Before, I used to think when they say CPU or computer, it means the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> it's what you call the CPU or the central processing unit. Oh, I know what it means! <laughs> <laughs> it's the brain of the computer. Mm -hmm. What happens if I break this? We'll have to buy a new one. Ooh. She will break it. <laughs> she will. This is creepy. Well, I have like long nails, so it doesn't really help. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. So I know it goes over here. Um, it's just a matter of thinking how to position it. Look for the triangle. Yeah, there's a kind of little triangle here. Yeah, I think it's aligned now. So there you go. The brain's there. Brain's in. All right, and the next one we'll have to put in is the memory. So basically, before we actually put the motherboard inside your computer case, we'll have to put in everything that we can fit on the motherboard because it's going to be hard when you actually put it inside a case and then start putting all those little pieces. It's good. Uh, your hand won't fit. So basically, you're going to have your a hard hand. time. Oh, my hands won't fit. You're going to have a hard time just putting everything together. All right, so this is going to be our memory. So we have a Corsair Vengeance Pro and it's RGB. Right. Yep, and it's also 32 gigs, so basically her new computer will have 30 gigs of memory. And I believe there's four, right? Yeah. There's four of this. Ooh, fancy. It's white. Sometimes I'm amazed how little things can be this powerful. 
Oh, I have to open those slots. Yeah. Right? So you have you to... see, I watched. <laughs> open the pins first. <laughs> but before I did this, I kind of watched a couple of videos from Linus Tech, which is based here in Vancouver. I mean, in Surrey. <sighs> Look at that. All you need to do is experiment and not break things. Okay. Is there a better way of holding this? All I know is you should not be touching much of those tiny little things. Okay, so let's see. Oops. Grabe siya makatingin, no? There. So I have here the Intel Wi-Fi 6. So we have um, the Rocket NVMe 4.0 for storage that has 500 GB. So how to put this here? I don't know. Well, first you'll have to remove the heat, heat sink from the motherboard. Oh no, I broke the box. <laughs> okay. So he said to remove the heat sink. Oh, we have a screwdriver. This is what I hate. <laughs> So we have the Wi-Fi here, and it looks complicated for me. <laughs> like, I'm looking at this one, and I think this one I know where to put, because there's that thing here that says Wi-Fi. And this one, though, looks so big. So I'm not sure. So we're, we're gonna remove these from... The bracket, so yeah. Can I, I put I, this one first? Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, part of the Wi-Fi is in. Uh, <laughs> This thing I don't really know how to put. I think it's complicated to put it in, so plus I'm getting tired of standing. <laughs> right, so I think Kyle's gonna continue this part. So yeah, I can take over from here. You can sit down and let me do the work. Yes, please. You have to go through here. Alright, so now that we have the Wi Fi installed, all we have to do is put back the heatsink. Heat sink. Alright, make sure everything's in place. Still two more underneath. Alright, so our next task is we'll have to put in. The cooler. We actually went with the uh, GameStorm Castle 3060EX and it's white, of course. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to call this PC the Snow PC. Yes, yeah, Snow, snow PC. White. <laughs> All right, so for those of you who know about computers, well, we don't actually have the thermal paste, but there's already some pre applied to the cooler, so we don't really 
need to put some on the uh, CPU. If you don't really know which one to put in, make sure to read the manual or some manufacturers have stickers on it. It's gonna be easy to distinguish. It says A and B. <laughs> this is what we'll have to put in. I like watching. All right, so let's install the uh, cooler. So uh, now that we have everything in place, so I'll uh, show you guys. Basically, we have the RAM, memory, the uh, cooling, and for the CPU, that's underneath the cooling. So everything's all set. So now all we have to do is put it inside a case. But before I do that, I'll uh, put in the fans. So for our fans, we actually bought RGB fans because the fans that came with the cooler weren't RGB, so we went with the uh, Cooler Master Master Fan MF120. Now we'll have to put them on the case. All right, so for our case, so it's a Cooler Master Master Box TV500 Mesh. Go. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there's actually three fans that are pre-installed already. And basically, we only need four more. So we have three here and we have one more. Right? One more. Just remove everything. So first, remove the back. Yeah, so as you can see, we got all the cables going through. And now we'll have to remove the tempered glass. There we go. So they actually gave us a zip ties and, yeah, and the controller for the fans. Alright, so first, before we actually put the motherboard in, let's install the fan. Because we won't have space later if we put in the motherboard. Right, so now that we have the uh, sixth fan installed, or the seventh, I should say, <laughs> yeah, the seventh fan installed. Now, I just want to make sure that everything's set up for the motherboard. Here, now it's time to put in the motherboard. This side goes in first. Alright, so due to technical difficulties, we had to change the layout of the case. So we thought that the radiator would actually fit the top side, but it wouldn't. So we had to place the fans there and then put in the radiator on the side. Alright, so now for the fun part, we'll be doing some cabling. But before that, we're going to have to put in the power supply so that we can power things up. And for the power supply, we got the Cooler Master. V650 Gold V2 White Edition. So this is what we'll be using to power up my wife's PC. Wait. My power supply.
All right, so finally we're done with cabling and putting everything else together. I'm very sorry for the bad cabling. I will fix that next time. <laughs> So one last thing that we need to do is to put in the graphics card. So we actually got the 3060 Ti. Like we had it for quite a long time now. <laughs> yeah, I got it through Best Buy and after 40 seconds, it was sold out. Yes. I was one of the lucky ones. Yeah! Alright, so we'll get my wife to <laughs> open it up and put it in the computer. Oh, it's heavy. Look at that. No, <laughs> Alright, so I'm really having a hard time putting it in because I can't seem to see the slots because I'm too short. Plus, my belly is just too big that. I'm squishing myself to the computer. So I'm just gonna hand it over to him. All right. Then to do it. Let's uh, plug in the GPU. It's hard to see. So now that everything is in, it's time to close the computer and test it out. So alright, for the moment it's through. Looks like everything's working, fans, all fans are spinning, all the lights are lit. Looks fancy. Alright, so now it's time to test if it will actually post. That's a good sign. That means that everything is working. Alright, that's good. Alright, so there we have it. We've successfully built my wife's PC. Yeah. Uh, how old is this one? I think Gary built my PC like five years ago, I think, on my birthday. So five years five ago or six and now years ago, the, I can't even remember now. Now we're replacing it. Yeah. How was building for you? <laughs> I mean, I was only able to like help him on the first few parts, just the basic ones. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy that I was able to help him in that way and like screw things up, but it sounded bad. So, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I really love, um, you know, the way it looks too. Like, this is the first PC I've had that's RGB and has all those fancy lights, and it's amazing. Well, He's been really waiting for this computer to be built for so long. We've been, you know, we had the GPU and the parts for a couple of weeks now, and it's just, it's not really my priority at the moment. So, are you happy now? Yes, I'm happy. You're happy? Well, not entirely. Because we still have to upgrade <laughs> her keyboard, mouse, oh the mouse pad, and the monitor. Yeah, he's basically wanting to change everything into white. But white and pink. <laughs> it's totally white for me though. Even if you don't change it, it's fine. As long as I have a computer, that's all that matters. So. Alright, so hopefully you guys find this video very informative and you've learned the new skill. Building a computer even though I was a bad teacher. <laughs> hopefully you learned something. So, and one more thing I'll have to do is to install the Windows operating system and then we're all good to go. Yeah, and you still have to copy everything on my mm -hmm. computer. We'd appreciate it if you guys would like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you're always notified. And we'll see you again, guys, on our next vlog. Bye for now. 
So for our verse of the day, 